Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, I am today gonna do um, some work on the uh, phrasing. Oh, the heater just went on, good. Um, the Love of Reading Junk Journal. Uh, finished the um, Chris Woodland Christmas and actually it has sold, so I am pretty thrilled about that. Um, so what I did was I had these um, envelopes uh it was walmart they're like mailers or whatever but i usually just don't use them i don't know why i had it but anyway it was a real good um heavy <clears throat> stock for a journal cover and then i used um a uh sp um cereal box spine and um i'm going to just go ahead and glue this on here because i my fabric I think I'm going to use is probably not going to, it's going to show through this. Okay. So I haven't done, um, one this way before. It's kind of a new, um, thought. Um, I think I probably saw somebody do it like this and I never did, but, and it's probably nothing new. It's just, Every time I go to make one of these, I am going to do a hidden spine too. So that makes it, to me, it's easier. It just looks nicer outside, so forth. Okay, so that's there. Um, let me think here. I was going, I want to, I don't want this thing to show either. <sighs> That's the problem with um, things that have, um, hmm, because I want to put a muslin fabric on these, on both sides. Um, I think. Okay, I'm afraid this is going to show, so I'm sorry. I should have probably done something prior to. Just um, rip this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, maybe it should be more than that, huh? I gotta cover that. Up. Okay. It'll work. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's been a rough couple days here because my mom, um, well, yes, not yesterday, the day before, like eight o'clock at night. My brother called and said he was calling 911 to come out to my mom's because she couldn't walk. And so um, she's always had problems with having weakness in her legs and things like that. And um, she fell like 12 days ago, but supposedly, and she said she was fine. We got her up and all that. And um, so, hold on. Stick with the thing. So anyway, her brother calls and says he's going to um, call 911 and come and get her because he can't move her at all, you know, to go to the restroom or anywhere. He can't get her. And so, um, paramedics came out because she had, she said she has this terrible pain from her hip down to her knee. So we're thinking, you know, we don't know what, what it is, but I'm thinking it's some kind of a cramp or something like that. Anyway, so, she, uh, they went to, um, we called 911 and they came and, um, <clears throat> checked her out and stuff and then took her to the hospital of course and now I'm not going to glue all this down uh, I know people use you know Mod Podge and all that 
I'm just going to do a little of this. I don't know where I'm going with this exactly, you guys. Just bear with me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit. Okay, we're going to set this down on here. Let me go like down here and then I'll cut that part off. Um, and then I'm going to, it's just to hold it in place. Okay, I'm going to glue this one. And I might, maybe I'll put a little sobo around the edges. Um, so anyway, she went to the hospital and this is like 8.30 now. She's got to the hospital, 8.30 at night. And so they did, they checked everything, you know, asking her questions, all that. So then they said, well, we'll do x-rays. Um, okay, this just needs to be, you know how this works. You gotta be a little distance away so you can fold it too much um, uh, so then um, all the x-rays come back on her hip and her uh, pelvis area and her you know anywhere her knee that all came back fine so then the doctor said well since it's not there we're gonna do the whole gamut of test so that's where then we sat there and, you know, waited for them to do the CT scan and blood work and just every little thing that they could do, think of. And then when um, all that was done, let's see, I don't like that glue stick showing through. I hope it, okay, I'm gonna turn this over. If I can use like a credit card and get it. So at, then in the end, they said they could not find anything wrong. Nothing was out. The blood work, everything came back normal. All you know, all the tests, cat, the cat scan, everything. And then they got her up. I said, "Well, how am I going to get her home? She can't walk." I mean, how am I going to transport her back home? And um, so the nurse said, well, uh, the doctor wants me to try to get her up and walk her and see what, what it's like. So uh, that's what they did. And then she walked, barely, but she walked. And we said, mom, are you, you know, does it hurt? She goes, oh no, it's not hurting at all. So I'm like, okay, you know, I mean, I don't think she lied about it hurting. I, you know, I know she didn't, but still you wonder like, okay, what's going on? I'm cutting the corners now you can see, oops, that one's kind of slow. Um, So then we get her home and get her in bed and all that. And the next day, it's all back again. It's all hurting again. So I don't know. I mean, uh, we're just now waiting. Um, I'm going to use some of this and some of that. Uh, till I can make an appointment with her regular doctor but I don't think, um, I think it's a, it's a cramp of some sort or, or nerve or something. I mean, I've had sciatic, um, pain and it's awful. And, you know, I think that's what she has is some sciatic thing. So I showed her some exercises, you know, when she's uh, sitting on the couch or laying in bed to do, because that's, you know, what my doctor had me doing, or actually it was a chiropractor at the time. And um, 
I remember now every time something where a sciatic starts to flare, I know right away to start those exercises. I hope this is going to work. I don't know. Oops. Is this? No, nope, that one's not tight up against the, the card. It needs to be nice and tight up against the card. Your cardboard. I think I forgot to put the Sobo and those other ones, but this is going to be all covered again, too. So it's okay. Um, hmm. So we'll see what happens um, tomorrow. It's Monday, and I'll call. But I can't take her to the doctor because she can't walk. So I'm hoping that I can get one of those telecommunication thing, or you know, the um, tele doctor or whatever. And she's low on folic acid, but I, uh, the doctor had prescribed folic acid. Uh, supplements the last time she went in but she wouldn't take them she you know I have a hard time getting her to take medicine she doesn't like medicine she's not on any medication at all and she'll be 90 she just doesn't like medicine so I finally I, I so I when I, I checked online to see about that folic acid, because um, I bought them for her, you know, she has them. And I said to her last time when she was saying her legs were weak, I said, are you taking that? And she goes, oh, not really. So then I, I, I took all the information off the internet about it and I had her, I printed it out for her to read. I've never done this before. See, that's going to be the cover now. But I'm covering all this. This is just to keep, to um, hide the background. Okay, so now um, we do the same thing for the inside. Yeah. I want to. I'm thinking now I might want to just put, make this the outside here and put paper in here. I don't, um, what the cover I have planned, I don't think these corners or anything are going to show, but I need a piece of fabric down this center. Where's that fabric I had? Oh. Okay. Because we need the strength in here. It's strong enough to rip it. <laughs> oh, good. That's the wrinkle part. Hold on. I've got a pressed section. I didn't press the whole thing. I just did, did the section. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll just put it up there to the edge like we usually do. And I'll just go inside here. I like that little raggedy edge anyway. And I was thinking of putting um, I think I'm going to put the Sobo glue all around in here. This is the fabric glue. It's not um, what do you call that stuff? Fabric tack. Let me get my little spatula and smooth it out. So 
so we don't have big globs or anything. So I don't know, you know, my brother is going to take a leave of absence from work. I mean, he doesn't have, you know, a major job or anything, but you know, a little part-time stuff, but he's going to, so that somebody's with her uh, 20. Well, and then she fell yesterday morning. Um, so nobody can pick her up without help from somebody else. So uh, then my daughter, she, he called, my brother called my daughter to come help. I guess he didn't think I was strong enough and I'm probably not, you know, or my mom said, no, don't bother her. All right, so that's that. What is I probably should have put more glue into that, those creases. But we'll see what happens. All right, so there's that. And this is nine, okay, just so you have the measurements. It, this one is nine inches, and these little um, sections are almost six, they're like uh, five and seven eighths. And then the spine is slightly under two. And that's because I had to trim the thing because I um, cut it crooked. So I had to trim it down a little bit. Okay. Did the lid fall on the floor? Oh, no, there it is. I thought I heard something fall earlier. Maybe not. These little spatulas are great for running the glue around. All right, so I think, I feel like this is going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut it and lay it over the top so there's no gap there. I mean, no lump. So I could do this on the inside. Um, I don't think I have enough. Um, I don't really care if it's decorated on the inside. Um, because I don't have two of these. Um, I coffee dyed this, but I don't have two coffee dyed. Let's see what I have in some blues, blue paper. I wonder. This is a piece of uh, embroidery or cross stitch, and it's cardstock. So, <laughs> I don't know, that, that may not be good. It's not big enough. And that is not big enough either. Okay, great. I think I have this too, just something, um, I feel like this is all going to show. I'm just going to use this because it's the right size. Okay. All right. 
So I think on this journal I used um, Vintage Photo. So I don't think I'm going to do um, any more Christmas. Um, I have some more digitals that I could do, but... I feel like I've been doing it for a long time. I don't know why, but I don't know. So I'm thinking more um, things that maybe somebody would want for a Christmas gift. It's just getting it through the mail and all that stuff. I don't know how that's going to work this year. Okay. I don't know if that... I think... Um, I'm going to put a piece of lace over the top of this also to give that more strength. Okay, um, what would be a good glue? All right, before that, I want to lightly ink, or I don't know if it's lightly inking, but I want to ink all this muslin edges to give it a vintage look. I saw somebody, um, I don't know who it was on YouTube. Um, you know, things just pop up on my channel or, you know, on the your videos and stuff. And, and I found, and this girl popped up. I can't think of who she was, but she was on her spine of her journal and she didn't show what it was. I think maybe I missed that part in another video, but she did a, um, embossed, uh, spine like this was embossed, uh, paper and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if it was, design for a spine because it fit it perfectly the way uh, it was laid on there on that spine or she just put more than one together and figured it out I don't know all right I know this might be kind of boring but you know if you're new and you haven't seen Spine may be made. It's not supposed to be like this at the corners. I'll tell you that right now. But the only reason I'm allowing it to continue that like that is because I'm going to cover it. So I know it's not going to show. Otherwise, it would be a little more preciseness done. Just put some glue stick here because it'll will glue to the center part that's paper. Because um, glitter, art glitter glue will not, does not work for me on fabric. And people say they can use it, but I, I find that it never really holds that well. smear here. Get it laid down really good. I like that. Did I already ink that? Yep. Still don't know what I'm going to put on the front of it. Oh, what'd you do? Just get one of those little gloopers in there. It just gets, um, I don't know if it's an air bubble or... See, there's like just one big hunk is what happens. It gets up. 
to the top there and then it doesn't want to lay down. Okay. All righty. a wide enough something to go down the center that is wide enough we're not going to see it though when it's closed because I'm doing the hidden spine yeah that's kind of not right huh I mean I can use that somewhere else okay um I just need something that's got a little bit of to help with the stability of I don't want to put tape. What's this? Oh, that's ruffles. Everything I have is so pretty. I don't want to hide it. Oh, that's not going to work. Alrighty, so what am I going to do? I guess I could put another piece of muslin in there. I did put one, but I just feel like... I don't want it to go like this, you know? But, um, let me see how the little journal guys fit. The little signatures. I guess it would really move. So signatures are in. Yeah, I don't like the feel of that, like that. Huh. Maybe I left the spine uh, pieces too, too far apart in here. I didn't think so, but... Um, probably make it sturdier. It'll look pretty. Now let's try it. So if I, it's glued in. Go right down the center of this. I always like this ribbon. I just haven't had a chance to really use it. I have that other turquoise stuff too. Not turquoise, but I don't know what you call it. So this is going to have to dry some because that'll help the sturdiness too. So that, you know, when it's closed, this is going to show. Oops, what happened? <laughs> okay, I guess maybe I need some more glue. Let me, maybe it's because I, I put some on the outside here.
to get this glued right here because I don't like that to come unraveled. hard to tell which is the right and wrong side of this stuff. Either side, I guess, either way looks good. I guess I'll have enough glue on there because it's, and you know, actually the glue um, kind of makes it strong too. All right, I think I'm going to have to let that sit that way for a few minutes here. Did I have not enough thing around this? I don't know. I'm trying to keep my laces under control. There he goes. If you guys have been watching me for a while, every single time I do a video, that motorcycle comes through. Okay, so uh, we had a few minutes here. Let me show you my next thought. I have, okay, I have this here and I've sewn it to make a pocket. And, oh darn, I could glue that all in there. I wonder if I should do that. Hmm. I was thinking, I mean, I wasn't thinking that, but that would work. Because I wanted to put that on the outside of these signatures. So it would be, no, it wouldn't be that way. It would be this way. So this part here would be under all of the signatures and sit in there and then it would have a pocket right here. Hmm. Or if I lay it this way, I would lay down on this side. Okay, but before I do that, I want to take this and I want to put this on this side like that and center it up because I don't want to um, maybe cut around this. I don't know. So I was going to take this and just sew this here and here and here and here, and this would be the book cover. Like that. But this is just gonna slide in. It's going to be like a all day book cover. Gosh, I'm gonna have to leave this alone, you guys. I can't, it's gonna be not glued. Um, now I can't see if it's not very straight either. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I was just gonna leave it like this and let this dangle out. Maybe I'll pin it back with a charm or something up here. I don't know, but that's my thought. And then this little guy, if I put him in like this, see, he would be right there with the pockets and I wouldn't glue it down. I don't know, I think maybe I would just sew it in on the, like on the, no, I can't do that either. I have to leave it here and it, then the, the spine that's going to be the, um, 
hidden spine will sit on top of this. This it'll be glued into here. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. And then I have this. Okay, so can't I can't I can move this part. So, and this has stains in it and stuff and I don't I'm not going to worry about it because I plan on like putting uh, this piece here on there and I thought I would put and I I don't know if I want to use a picture frame again um, it seems like I do that a lot there's another one here this one this one would probably fit uh, this one doesn't look right because of this and I don't think I can go that way because I don't think I have enough room let me just see here Yeah, see, it's too big. So this one would, I think, work on, um, and it it's gonna cover some of the flower, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. And then I kinda wanted to use well, I was going to put some other laces, like, you know, some of this stuff, you know, maybe on the edge or on the spine area or just lace it up. And then, um, what's the fabric I had? Gosh. I just had it because I was checking it out. There it is. See, I like this, and I was thinking of making this the cover. Let me see if I can cut this just smaller. Actually, that side is kind of pretty. Maybe that's the wrong side and this is the right side. I bet you that's what it is. Does this stuff go with that? It's kinda, but it's like, um, I don't know. So I th think I need to cut this down. I'm gonna just eyeball it best I can. I did a very good job of that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'll just, I'll have to go over and trim it with my trimmer. I just want to get an idea. I mean, I have a rotary cutter and stuff that I can, I can cut it with. I'm not very good at, like, a Tina. <laughs> okay. So... Even that's probably too big for the cover, but that would be like here. And then I thought I could take this, something like that, and put that in there. Um, I also think I could do um, a piece in there. I, I have tons of lace in another drawer like like tablecloths and stuff or something like this maybe this is just a little piece that was cut off of a curtain or something but and I would just cut around this and make it all raggedy which is what I can do right now so let me I don't know if I can rip this. Nope. This is linen. I'd rather have it kind of raggedy though. Hmm. I'm gonna wait and cut it with my rotary cutter. I'm just trying to get an idea. So if this was like in the center, because I just don't really like the frame 
at all. Um, and then I'll have probably a, a name plate somewhere. I need more layers. That's what I need. So what I'll do is just pull out the rest of my get this so it's on the book so I know get out some more lace and stuff like that but this kind of gives the whole blue vibe but then I would sew all around this so it was all you know sewed and I think this might unravel some if I work at it all right, so I'm gonna let you guys go um, because I really can't do anything because this is not dry. And um, I don't know, I might do a video of me trying to do this or I might just go ahead and do it and get on with the, with the journal um, and get it finished. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for, uh, the to the lady uh, who purchased my journal, uh, The Woodland Christmas. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.